Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? Hope we're all doing really, really, really fierce. In today's video, y'all, we have the brand new Rainbow High New Friends Lilac Lane doll. I am so excited about this doll. This is a doll that I've actually been anticipating for the longest time. She's my favorite from the new wave of Rainbow High. I think this is like the new series, whatever. I am so excited for this doll, y'all. I've been thinking about her for the longest time, and I finally just ordered her on Target, but I know she'll be also available on Amazon, so I'm gonna have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below, in the description below, y'all. Um, but this doll costs like $26, which I thought was pretty fair, you know, for how detailed her outfit looks. I'm pretty excited. I know she also does have a new body mold, which is like my favorite thing about this doll, and I'm so excited to get into it. But again, new series, whatever. Um, and I just kind of ordered her, because like, whatever, let me just do it. And I'm so happy that I did. She has a pretty perfect face, to be honest. Like, just in my opinion, a pretty good face. So, um, I have not found these dolls in person yet, only on online. So, I know Amazon, Target, and Walmart are all carry her online. But again, keep in mind that she'll be in stores sometime soon. Here's her barcode, y'all, if you are searching for her. Um, happy hunting. I really hope she gets found in real life soon. But her box is really, really cool. It's a new kind of box ring Baha'i. It's very, like, sleek down divas. But it's, like, kind of like a little scenery. Like, she's, like, in, like, the chemistry lab or, or whatever. Lilac Lane is also a fashion design focus, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then the back of the box, we have all the other divas in the line. This is Pinkly, Blue Brooks, and then obviously Lilac. So I finally got the names down, which I'm super excited about. But um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna get her out of this box because I'm really, really, really excited to get into her. So without further ado, let's see her in the next one. Loki, before I unbox the accessories, I just want to show you guys how cute they are in this little, like, packaging. Her stand is packaged behind her in the thing, but I love this, like, little display of everything. Like, it's such a cute, like, little, like, like, a little room. Like, this gives me, like, LOL OMG vibes from, like, their peak and everything when, like, they would come with, like, the like, little rooms and stuff you could play with. But, like, look at how cute all of her stuff is, like, on, like, this little, like, shelf and everything. Like, that's a diva down. So, like, if y'all really, really want, like, you can definitely get crafty with this, but it's such a cute little accessory. Here's also her comb. I'm gonna th keep this in here. I'm just gonna throw it away. But, um, she's a comb, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, look at how cute they are. I'm obsessed with this, y'all. It's so fun. And we are all out of the box. Miss Lilac is looking stunning. This girl is taking it down. So, we have a couple fun accessories to look at before getting into the doll. One of the first ones that I was actually, like, audibly gagged about are these, like, little, like, beakers. So, like, the beaker thing is, like, done in, like, this R kind of shape. But they're, like, individual, and which is so cool. And then, like, on, like, the little, like, beakers themselves, it says Rainbow High. Like, that is fierce. I, and, like, this is, like, a very nice plastic. I will say that. Like, I love, 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 like, this, like, accessory. It's so nice. It's so fun. And it's something that I never, ever thought, would have thought Rainbow High would have given us. Given us. We also have this, this, like, little beaker. And it is in, like, this, it's, like, purple. I don't really know what it is. But, um, it's a cool little accessory. So fun. The Diva also has a little, um, journal and, like, a little pencil. The pencil has a thing for her to put her hand on it, and there's a little, little tip is black, and it's obviously for her to write. The journal has RH all over the place, and it has some silver painting on it. Such a nice painted piece for just being so small like this, and you can't open it. Look at the little pages, y'all! This is just, like, um, it's not, like, paper or anything, but it's so nice. Like, the attention and detail on just this little piece is so cool. I love this accessory. It's so fun to play with. We also came with a bag. This is a bag that we've seen before, but it is the R. It's, like, the Rainbow High version, I guess. It says RH. And Rainbow High, or LOL OMG, has used this. This is Chillax's bag. Um, That's, I think, the first time they used the mold, maybe. Um, It's the exact same bag, which is nice. I like the bag. Y'all, if they don't need to make a new mold, don't make a new mold. It costs a lot of money to make molds, and I'm happy that they're, you know, using their resources a lot. Um, So it's a really, really nice bag, and it's very shiny and very silvery. It's very nicely painted. They also made a whole new stand for this doll, because, like, look at how, like, this is Kim's stand. This is um the new girl's, what's her name, Lilac stand. Look at how big this one is. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with that. I hope that means that since they molded a whole new stand for this doll, we get more dolls on, like, the taller body. I'm obsessed with this, y'all. And the last accessory that this doll comes with are these little glasses. They're, like, purple and lavender and the, like, stem gems on them. I think this doll is, like, canonly wearing glasses. I think in the show she wears glasses. And oh, these are so... They're actually really cute on her, y'all. I don't usually, like, care about the glasses on dolls, but, like, these are really, really nice. They have a little, like indent oh she's so sweet looking i love this diva okay but getting onto the doll herself i'm so excited i've been like wanting this doll for the longest time so this doll has some really nice hair i think this hair is 
it looks to be like metallic nylon or regular nylon. I don't really know the difference, to be honest. But it's really, really curly and it's super long. It goes down to like around her knees and it is gelled heavily. In the back, it's kind of like a little, it's not a bald spot, but like it's just like separated like this. There is, there's less gel in the back of her hair, but in the front of her hair is pretty gelled up. So like that could be a good thing, to be honest. Like, cause I feel like curls, a lot of the times they just kind of fall out sometimes. But like this is curled pretty nicely and they're all done like, like, it's not, like, matted or anything. So, like, I'm impressed with this hair, like, right on out of the box. I know a lot of other brands give us very n nasty matted hair. But this is really, really nice. It's very, like, diva. I I I'm a diva. Um, So, I live, live, live in. It's a really nice middle part. The rooting is also pretty nice on this doll. I'm not a person who really cares about rooting, but um, you can definitely get a lot of hairstyles out of this doll. But getting onto this face, we have some nice little, like, baby hairs that are on the same color as our hair color. So beyond pretty. And look at this face, y'all. Like, this looks like airbrush. Like, mine has, like, some weird, like, it looks like she was, like, cut a little bit, like, on her nose and, like, her lips or something. But I don't even, like, care because she's, just, like, look at the white little streak. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I tried rubbing it off, but, um, it's just there. But honestly... I'm not nitpicky with my dolls anymore, so, like, it's fine. It's nothing that I'm, like, gonna really see. Like, from here, it looks fine, and that's really where I'm gonna look at her from, like, this distance, but, um, I think she's, like, one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls. Like, I, I don't, I say this every time, but she's really, really, really pretty. Onto this face, this mug is truly insanity. I am living for it. We have these really fun, like, eyebrows. They look, like, honestly, like, mine might be, like, smudged or something, but they look, like, airbrushed on which i live for i also love this like very blended eyeshadow look it's very purple love the glitter on the lid y'all i love a good glitter so beyond stunning and the eyes are really really pretty too mine has like something weird that's happening on like her nose like she was like cut or something and i try to wipe it off but i don't know what it is i'm not that picky like it looks fine from far away but um i like the blushing as well so 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 cutesy patootsy we also have these earrings which remind me a lot of like bella's earrings from the rainbow high one line i guess these earrings we've definitely seen before but i don't even care to be honest because like the main focus of this doll is just this face and the hair like i love how long the hair is to be honest this doll outfit is very like olivia rodrigo in the way that it's very cute and it's very like lavender-esque so like i kind of can like consider this to be like olivia rodrigo moment but we have this nice like little like sweater and the sweater is a diva darling we have a cute little collar it is kind of sewn on but it's still nice to be included and look at these three rows of gems like these are like full on like glued on gems no printed detail ma like these are for real there's like a little embroidery embroidery in there i don't know so nice and it fits her so cute like i love like the cropped like with the big sleeves and the, the yeah it continues on the back y'all less than 30 dollars and a doll is giving us this type of quality on the jacket it's like it, unreal the um kind of like cuffing thing also happens on like the sleeves so beyond nice and this doll also has painted big like, nails so clock it love like this this looks like a new length though it looks like a little bit shorter but not as long as some of the other ones are love the sweater the skirt is also really, really cute. I will say I was kind of surprised by it. I thought it was white and black from the pictures, but it's actually like a dyed purple. And it's real. Oh my, there's like two skirts under it. But it's just like one piece, I think. It's very interesting. I swore this is like a white, but it's very much more like lavender-ish. Hope you can kind of see that. It's like the same kind of color almost. I don't know. It's cool though. This diva also has like these really long white socks, which are above her knee length. But because this doll is on like a giant body, these are definitely going to be a lot longer on like a regular Rainbow High doll. But I love them. And they also, like, lead in these shoes. I love these shoes. They look, like, bejeweled or whatever. But there's little, like, gems on them and everything. They're just painted and everything. But, like, look at how cute. Like, the toe is really, really nice. <gasps> Y'all, the girls are kind of gagged a bit. I love these shoes so bad. But now it's time for the real moment. I put this little thing on her hand. Um, the time for the real thing that I'm so excited for and scared about is how tall is she next to a normal Rainbow High doll. So I have Kim Nguyen here. Oh, wow. She's really, really tall. Like, I didn't really expect that, to be honest. Like, I was just like, okay, like, whatever. She really is that diva. She's, and then here's, like, an OMG doll, because I just had her next to us. Wow, that's crazy. And then, I don't know, who I, I have Bratz dolls next to me. Here's the Kylie Jenner Bratz doll. She has dust all over her, but that's okay. Wow. That's crazy. She's really tall down. Last doll, I'm gonna promise, Frankie Stein. Okay that's cool i like this i like this doll um this doll is a stallion she's giving megan the stallion to me but also like again like olivia rodrigo in the way and i love 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 that she's kind of focused on like the science and everything which i love the girls that are doing the fashion but i like that they kind of switched up on this doll like 
I don't know. I think it's fun when dolls explore different things. I don't know. Does Ring Behind do that a lot? I don't really know. I feel like those dolls are just kind of like Kim Nguyen. Like, the dolls are very much like dolls. That, like, in my opinion, are just like fashion. Like, they're not, they're really focused on like the fashion, the, like on like the, you know, everything so I, I think it's cool that they kind of give them like some interest because i feel like rainbow high dolls like just in general are so like soulless in the way that their characters aren't really like anything like kim nguyen like she has like a phone like she doesn't really like i don't know anything about this doll but i know that at least lilac like she's like interested in like chemistry and she's like you know pretty i don't know like they're all pretty but i don't know i think like the ability that this like line is giving all the new characters like a new specific interest like the um pink one is like a social media influence girl like the the blue one's a skateboarder girl this one's like a scientist like i think that's really really fun and i hope that rainbow high kind of moves forward with giving the dolls more personalities because i genuinely genuinely enjoyed this a lot for her overall though i think i'm definitely really 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 impressed with miss lilac lane i think this doll is super cute and super fun and a great addition to any rainbow high dolls collector's collection I just think she's so fun. Like, look at how tall this diva is. Like, y'all. And I thought Rainbow High Dolls, like, themselves were giant. But this doll is a literal stallion. Like, she's giving me, again, Megan the Stallion vibes. And I live for it. She's just so pretty. And I hope she comes into stores eventually. Um, I got really, really lucky, I think, with my face. This doll has a really, really pretty face. And, um, again, I'm just excited to add her to my collection and everything. So, with that, I guess, thank you guys, though, so much for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments below, though, if you guys have this diva. And if you guys are waiting for her. If she's on your wish list. If she's not on your wish list. And I want to know all your feelings and thoughts. Because I'm dying to know. But thank you guys, though, so beyond much for watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys. And I cannot wait to catch all, though, in the next one. I love you all endlessly. And I'll see you very, very soon. Love you. Bye. Bye, everybody.